Hello, I'm Robert Donovan, and in this video, I'm going to show you all of the ISO files that you need to download for this course. This course covers three Linux distributions. It covers Fedora as the host operating system, and it installs Ubuntu and SUSE, S-U-S-E to some, as uh, virtual machines. Um, so in order to do this, you need to get ISO files for Fedora, SUSE, and Ubuntu. In the case of Fedora, you need to get the live CD and the DVD ISO. In the case of Ubuntu or SUSE, you need to get just the live CD version. It, uh, those, uh, the live CDs install a desktop system. The DVD is used for setting up servers. So first off, where do you go get all this stuff? For the, uh, I'm assuming uh, in, for this course, uh, no prior knowledge. So all you have to do to find these ISO files is to uh, Google the name of the Fedora or the Linux distribution, in this case Fedora. And uh, if you go to the, there's always a download link with any of these project sites. Uh, sometimes it's listed right on the search page. Other times you have to go to the site. In this case, we can go right to Fedora. And the other distributions we need are SUSE and Ubuntu. So we'll go ahead and get, just Google each of those. And for Ubuntu, and there's a download page for that, which sometimes takes a while to get going. And last but not least, the uh, SUSE.org. So we're looking for OpenSUSE or SUSE. And if you click the Get It link, it should open up reasonably quickly. There we go. Now, you want to get the live genome version for SUSE, and you want to get the Ubuntu Desktop Edition, which is also a live installable CD for Ubuntu, as I said. And you want to get the live installable CD for Fedora, which can be gotten right here. The DVD is found under Formats. You see where it says DVD ISOs right here? Click Formats. And if you scroll down, you'll see the download link for the DVD. Now, I recommend that you get the live CD versions first because they are clearly uh, far smaller files. This one is 675. It's actually about 690. This one is about 695. This one is about 700. So they're all in the 700 megabyte range uh, for the CDs. That's about the maximum you can get on a CD. But the uh, DVD, I'll just open this in a new tab here. The DVD for Fedora is 3.1, almost 3.2 gigabytes uh, when you finally finish downloading it. This is going to take a long, long time. All you do to download these things is click on the download link. It'll give you the option to save file somewhere in your browser. Don't open it, save it. And you click OK. You get your download link. I have a two here because I've already downloaded this, so it's making a copy, essentially. I'm going to cancel this download because I don't need to download it twice. And that's all you do. You just you go to the same place. You click download for here. You click download there and you click download there and it'll do that same exercise it'll open up a download page I do recommend that unless your internet connection is very very fast you download them one at a time because it can take weeks to download that DVD alright if you are in a classroom situation and you're taking this course either online or with an instructor um, I recommend that you use the DVD for installation and the live CD for testing. The reason I use live CDs for testing is that, for those of you that are not familiar with them, a live CD is a CD that you can boot to, and rather than installing Linux onto your system, it simply runs the operating system. It runs Fedora in this case, Ubuntu and SUSE for the other ones. It runs Linux from the CD. It doesn't actually install anything until you tell it to. It's a great way to test to see if your system is compatible with Linux or whatever version you're using. 
if something gets messed up, all you have to do to fix it is reboot the computer, take the CD out, and let the computer boot up normally. And that cures any damage that was done because the operating system was never actually installed. It was just running from the CD. If, you, if it does work and you decide you do want to install it, you can install a basic desktop system from all of the live CD versions. For this course, we're also going to be covering servers, and that's why you need the DVD for Fedora, because we're going to do the servers in Fedora. You, they have server CDs for Ubuntu and Suzy as well. The DVDs uh, uh, are available for that as well, but we're using Fedora for this course. Um, so uh, the other thing too is if you're in a school environment, definitely use the, f the DVD. Don't try to, uh, what it is possible to, down to install from the live CD and then go to the Fedora website and download the server software separately. That's very time consuming. You're going to waste a lot of class time doing that. Much simpler to download the DVD ISO, burn as many as, uh, DVDs as you need for the class, and then hand each student a DVD and burn as many CDs as you need and hand each student a CD. That way they've got all the software they need for the course and they can't complain that the internet was too slow and everybody's on the same page all the time. So when you finally get all four of these things downloaded, I'm going to just close the tabs here. and close the browser. When you finally do get these things downloaded, that those are the four you need. The Fedora DVD ISO, the Fedora Live CD ISO, the Genome Live CD ISO for Suzy, and the Ubuntu Desktop ISO for um, Ubuntu. If your system, if you're using Windows and your system doesn't show the .ISOs in your uh, folders here, uh, click your Start button, go to Control Panel, and click on in, in the control panel, your default view is probably the category view, so for you it'll look like this. Um, go to large icon view, and the large icon you're looking for is folder options. And on folder options, click the view, and you guys will have this box checked. Hide extensions for known file types, that box will be checked. If you uncheck it, click apply, and then click OK, and then go ahead and close control panel you will see the .iso extensions for these files. All right, that's the software you need for the course. That's where you go get it, and that's uh, if, you, if you've ever downloaded an MP3 or a movie, you can download an ISO file. The next video, we'll talk about how to take these ISOs, burn them to CDs and DVDs, and actually make bootable media that you can run your system with. Um, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.